throats and strep throat. Two common reasons children typically have their tonsils removed. But doctors say those aren't the only reasons. If the tonsils are big, the air is not fully moving through. Sleep medicine doctor Jose Colon says 2% of children have sleep apnea, often caused by enlarged tonsils, which in some cases can make the child snore. <laughs> That snoring, he says, can disturb the child's sleep, even mimicking behavioral problems like ADHD. I have had cases where I have a kid with tonsillar hypertrophy, loud snoring, and they have a pretty significant obstructive sleep apnea, and we get the tonsils taken out, and lo and behold, all of their ADHD symptoms actually do go away. But just because a child snores does not mean they have sleep apnea. 10% of kids actually have something called primary snoring, which means that there is some snoring, but the air is moving through and they don't have sleep apnea. Before suggesting surgery, he recommends a sleep study. Where they can monitor the child's breathing and find out if the tonsils are causing the sleep problems. Well, some of the things that we're looking for is the airflow. If the snoring is present, but the air is moving really well, you're not going to really accomplish anything by, by taking out the, the tonsils. However, if you see that the airflow is coming down and that's disrupting the brain or disrupting oxygen levels during the evening, uh, that, could be a, that could be a problem with obstructive sleep apnea. In that case, he says doctors may recommend removing the tonsils. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Lindsay Fry.